Okay, I hope this is showing up. <laughs> um, I wanted to do something a little different today. I haven't done one of these in quite a while. And I have uh, the Book Riot, Which Librarian from Pulp Culture Are You? So we will try to find out. I'm trying to think of some, and they're just not coming to mind. Um... Oh yeah, Mary in Peru. Okay, They're, they are the keepers of knowledge, curators of stories, and when I was young, I wanted nothing more than to be a librarian. What fun to sit amidst what seemed like every book ever, helping people find books and talk to them about great mystery story series. This was clearly the dream job. However, I also thought being a librarian included giving piano lessons, researching suspicious men who are new to your town, destroying books in the name of love, and singing songs. What can I say? I was obsessed with The Music Man and Marion Peru, the librarian of River City. And while I know now that there is a lot more to being a librarian than helping eight-year-olds find the Encycl Encyclopedia Brown books, and, and that sadly it does not involve catchy songs and elaborate dance sequences, although music and story time for babies comes the closest to this fantasy, I can't help but still be enamored of Marion, Madam Librarian. Yes, she's a cool character. I just watched uh, Music Man. Um, it was on 4th of July on Turner Classic, so that was pretty cool. <clears throat> if you are a lover of books and reading, there is a good chance you are obsessed with a fictional librarian at some point. Perhaps you still are. Whether it's Marion, Giles, or Twilight Sparkle, there are several iconic librarians in pop culture that inspire admiration. Oh my god, what have I to come up as Twilight Sparkle? My son, the brony, will be ecstatic. I generally, if it's a what pony are you kind of thing, I generally twilight, so whatever. I'll stop doing that. As has been explored in another post, there is sadly a lack of librarians in pop culture, especially when it comes to librarians of color. But the few that we have are quite memorable. For every character that is composed entirely of librarian stereotypes, there are those that buck the cliches and represent a newer, bolder librarian, even if the way the job is portrayed is a bit unrealistic. It's time to silence your phones, dispose of any food or drink near your computer, and take our quiz to find out which librarian from pop culture you are. And here we have the first question, because I clicked start, and then I thought, hey, I ought to make a video of this. <laughs> <coughs> but I haven't answered any questions yet. <clears throat> How do you organize your home library? By fiction and nonfiction, alphabetically, by order, or by author. It'd be good if I could read. Wouldn't it be good if booktubers could read? Yeah, that'd be cool. Okay. By subject, genre, fiction and nonfiction, alphabetical by author. I try to have separate shelves for each subject. Um, there's no way I'd ever have enough room for enough shelves to do that. Read and unread. I have a system that I understand and works for me. There are kind of just piles and shelves full of books everywhere. Rainbow shelves! Well, if you have ever paid attention in any of my other videos, you know that I have stacks of books pretty much everywhere. Overall, what are your favorite books to read? Nonfiction, fantasy and sci-fi, young adult in basically every genre, romance. I pretty much read everything but prefer fiction, comics and graphic novels. I kind of read a little bit of everything. I tend to go towards mysteries and thrillers. How familiar are you with the Dewey Decimal System? I know it's a system the library uses. I'm familiar with the subjects I'm always checking out. I don't know it as well as I would like, but I'm learning. I'm an expert. I know it very well, and I think I could do a better job of coming up with a cataloging system. I would say I'm familiar with what I'm generally checking out. I really don't look too hard at the numbers unless it's something I'm specifically looking for. Uh, which famous library would you most like to visit? The British Library in London, the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C., the Budleian Library in Oxford, Royal Portuguese Reading Room in Rio de Janeiro, 
the Beast Library he gave Belle and Beauty and the Beast. The Library of Alexandria, the actual ancient library. I wish I could time travel. Oh, jeez, I want to go to all of them. Um. I don't know. This is tough. I would think the Bodleian would be more, like, research heavy. Because I know, like, in uh, Discovery of Witches, she spends a lot of time at the Bodleian looking at ancient texts and hard-to-get, rare books that are all, like, for research. Um, I don't know a whole lot about the Portuguese, Royal Portuguese Reading Room. And I don't know a whole lot about the British Library in London. I'd love to go to London. Um, and that would be one of the stops, definitely. I would say probably the Library of Congress, because I think they've got a little bit of everything. How many cardigans do you own? I don't know. I've never counted them. <laughs> Let's see. I know I have a black one with color block trim and pockets. And I've got another black one, I think. I've got a purple one that my sister-in-law made me. I've got kind of a magenta colored one. I might have a teal one. I know I did have. I don't know if I still do. I'm going to say five, more than five. Because that right there was just five. <coughs> How well can you Google information? I can find the basic info I need. I'm very good at Google. I have a few friends who are better than I am at digging up information, but I'm better than most people. I've already found your home on Google Maps. I'd say I'm good at it. I use it quite often. Do you have a little free library? Yes! No, but only because there's already one near me. No. No, but I constantly give books away. Wait, do I personally have a box, like, outside my house? Is that what it's asking? Or do I have access to one? <sighs> Not entirely sure what this question's asking. But, based on this answer, no, but only because there's already one near me, Makes me feel like, you know, do I have one, like, outside my house? So, I use the one, which is actually the next town over. Um, no, I, I, uh, do you own a cat? Yes, I have several cats. No, I have another pet. No, no pets at all. Right now, it's no pets. Not my choice, but whatever. What kind of bookmark do you use? An actual paper bookmark, I dog ear pages, whatever small piece of paper is lying around, a ribbon bookmark, I just remember what page I was on, I lay the book face down at the place I stopped, a post-it I also use for notes while reading. Well, okay, I use actual bookmarks. I have been known to use whatever scrap of paper is lying around. If there is a ribbon bookmark in the book, I've been known to use that. And I have sometimes put the book face down where I stopped in a quick emergency situation. Like, if I don't do it now, then there's a problem that will be a bigger problem. <laughs> um, but I've also used post-it notes. <sighs> uh, okay, so I have a book next to me, and right now it has a piece of mail holding my place. And I haven't started the other book yet, but I have a an actual bookmark sitting right here next to me that I will probably use. Um, I'm going to say an actual paper bookmark because I do try to do that more often than not. Do you write in your books? Yes. No. I underline highlight. Does that count? Only in my personal favorites. Never. Never. Ever. Depends. Maybe for school, but mostly no. Only in pencil. <sighs> I 
would say it depends. Um, when I was in college, I scribbled all over my books. Taking notes, it was the easiest way to make sure I didn't lose my notes. Um, have you ever lost a library book? Maybe when I was younger. No, I'm diligent about keeping track of library books. My children have. I thought I had once, but then it turned up when I moved. One or two, but I'm better about it now. Look, sometimes things just disappear. I don't know what to tell you. No, but the library accused me of losing a book that I returned. I was eventually proven right, but I'm still mad about it. Well, I would say I did when I was little, probably. Um, and we did have one that we thought was lost, but I cleaned out an area and it was there. It had fallen behind something. Um, so it has since got returned to the library. Uh, and also I have been accused by the library of not returning books that I did return. And I said, but I did return that. And they were like, well, you know, it's not checked in. And I actually went in and pulled it off the shelf. I said, now, can you check it in and take the fine off my account? Because it's been here this whole time. And they're like, sure, no problem. <clears throat> um, right now, I keep them all like in a tote bag in one location so that they don't get lost. Um, let's say one or two, but I'm better about it now, I guess. Pick a pair of glasses. One, two, three. Wait. One, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, there's no two. <laughs> I would probably be more likely, actually I have a pair of readers sitting over here that are something between this and this. It's like this shape lens, but it's the tortoise shell, but it goes all the way around the lens and not just the top of the lens. But I can't wear them because they give me a headache. I am Mrs. Phelps from Matilda. Do I remember Mrs. Phelps from Matilda? You're compassionate and have a soft spot for kids. You may even be a children's librarian. You're a lover of reading and just want others to enjoy reading as much as you do. And of course it disappears so that I can't read what it says. I hate it when they do that. I want to read what it said. <laughs> Um, then we'll post it. Maybe it'll show up on my Facebook feed and I'll be able to read what it said. I find that very irritating that um, it did that. So it's bookriot.com slash librarian dash from dash pop dash culture dash quiz and then there's a long list of gobbledygook that should be enough to get you to it apparently I've got the same thing the person that I clicked on it from had and I guess I don't get to read what the rest of it said that's kind of silly anyway that's all I have for this round. Um, I guess I will talk to you in another video later on. See ya. Bye bye.